Hello, welcome. Today we're playing Super Metroid uh, Redesign. Uh, I am super duper excited uh, to be playing this. Uh, I did actually do the... Um, I was just about to say, I did like start a game. Just I just wanted to make sure that, uh, that it was actually uh, different. Uh, as soon as I realized that you only have 30 seconds to escape, I, uh, I turned it off. Uh, controller settings. All right, we good. All right. Uh, the intro, I'm pretty sure, is exactly the same. The last Metroid. But I guess I'll let it play out. Activity. Just for the uh, the integrity of the uh, of the Let's Play, I guess. But uh, yeah, this is my third uh, my third uh, ROM hack of this. Uh, yeah, super excited to be playing it. Um, yeah, it's been a year and a half since I did the last one, and oh my gosh, I I am so different. So many things have changed. I'm using a better microphone. Uh, that last one was I think I was using a blue snowball. Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah, it, I was using a blue snowball. It still didn't sound very good, but it was still a, it was still like a noticeable difference from the thing I was using prior to that, which was a Logitech um, like head like headset mic or whatever. Which was it was like a fifty-five dollar um, mic or whatever. So I thought it'd be good, but it just doesn't work out very well with uh, with my voice. Uh, different different voices like sound better. With uh, with the mic being different distances or whatever, that headset mic it was like right by my face and it picked like all my S's. Just it's like the audio quality was so was so terrible. Like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, shout out to anybody that toughed it out through any of those old videos where I was using that thing. I used that for a long time too, and then I used the snowball for a while too. And uh, yeah, let me think. Um, I'm more burned out at my job than I was. A year and a half ago when I recorded the last um dude I can't think of what's it called ROM hack Jesus Christ but uh yeah so you know there's a chance that that'll that'll come out in my mood and excitement and whatnot so uh so I might not be as chipper as I was in a uh, Z factor but uh but you know the uh, the show must go on the let's play must go on and go on it shall um, man, and they got us doing 50 hour work weeks too, La or last week they did, we did a 50 hour work week. It's like, Jesus Christ, man, give me a freaking break, man. Freaking 50 hour work weeks, man. Suck a big old taint, man. Suck a big old elephant taint. Elephant taint so big, you probably put your whole face on it. No, I'm not getting a boner thinking about it. You're getting a boner thinking about it. Huh, the jumping is also different. We seem to be, like, jumping up and down, like, faster. I'm pretty sure I, I like, turned the speed up just so I could run through this area, so I didn't uh, actually notice. Also, another thing that was uh, funny, um, we have a three-person line plus the line lead, which is, like, four people. And uh, for some reason, we all wore the same color shirt uh, today. And what was weird is that it wasn't even, like, red or green. It was charcoal. So, like, it, I don't know. Like, all four of us wore charcoal. It's really weird. Um... I'm sitting here going like, like people. Some people believe in like collective consciousness, and it's like, am I actually telepathically like linked to these other people that I work with, even though I don't give two shits about any of them? But yeah, I just thought that was weird. I was like, what are the freaking odds of that, man? Oh wait, look how fast her shot is. We have super fast uh, shots. I also haven't played Super Metroid uh, in quite a while, so I'm just gonna be rusty in general, probably. Uh, I wonder if there's a ROM hack where Ridley's actually beatable in this first encounter. Uh, and they, uh, they, 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 like, condensed our line down to make it, um, more, like, compact. And then it was funny, the, the supervisor comes up to us the other day and he's like, Just so you know, we're gonna have someone come around and, like, time you guys on your stations. It's not, nothing against y'all, like, we, like, I know that y'all are hard workers, but we're just, we're just not hitting our number, and we just gotta see what we can do on our end to make it so we can hit our number. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know how when things were the way they were and we were able to hit it, and now you changed a bunch of stuff, and now we can't hit it, so maybe you could, like, you know, put everything back the way it was, you know? I mean, that's totally not an option you know when you when you make things harder and you take away all these like quality of life things and things that make things easier after a certain after taking away a certain amount of those it starts to actually impact the time and you know your time gets nickel and dimed away and the next thing you know it equals several motors over the course of a day yeah i work in a motor factory by the way for those of you that don't know um but yeah i, I just didn't i was just like okay go ahead time us figure it out you know <laughs> Uh, but my point is that um, I might my energy level might not be what it was in the last one, and it kind of sucks. 
it, it's kind of unfortunate that like man i don't know like um uh, z factor was so good like it was such an amazing game that i'm like what metroid hack could possibly top that it, like i can't imagine it so so now i'm gonna be comparing this one and all the ones i play after this i'm gonna be comparing it to all the other ones you know and then not, not only that but i was enjoying myself so much that like there was a lot of good moments in uh z factor like a lot of you know a lot of good like let's play moments so now it kind of puts the pressure on that, like, can I make this Let's Play as good as the other one? You know? I, I normally don't do that. I normally, like, don't care, but... Because this game is, like, so similar or whatever. Oh, wait, can you not... Wait. I think you can't wall jump. Oh, man. You cannot wall jump. What the heck? I have to get a power-up to be able to wall jump. All right, well... Oh man, okay, we're already going super far down. Uh, yeah, I know nothing about this uh, ROM hack, by the way. There are Let's Players that I wa that I watch that have done these um, Super Metroid hacks, and I purposefully don't watch them, just because I don't want anything to, uh, to get spoiled. The only thing I know about this one, I'm still trying to wall jump. <laughs> the only thing I know about this one is that when I tried to download, or when I went to uh, download the, the, uh, the, what do you call it, hack or whatever, uh, I read, like, one and a half reviews of it. And then I got, like, halfway through the second one, and I was like, I, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. <laughs> I don't want to know anything about this. I want this to be 100% blind. And it basically said that... It said that, the, like, the world is bigger, and you always feel like you're one power-up away from needing what... You, I mean, don't you always feel like you're one power-up away from... from, uh, needing what you need or whatever? I forget how it was worded. Okay, so they're already teasing us with the power bomb. Question is, is that the first original power bomb, or is that just a power bomb upgrade? Also, how much is this going to be incorporated? Where well, you can go behind this thing, where it looks like uh, it looks like uh, it's solid, but you can actually pass through it. I do like the rapid fire. That's cool. Oh, and you have the thing where if you double tap, uh, jump, it turns you in, it turns your fall into a flip or whatever. Um, okay. Okay, so we have one-way door. Okay. Stands to reason that we're going to be uh, on a single path for a little while. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the... Like, I've, it's it's an issue I've dealt with from time to time. Where, like, you do you feel like you did well. And then you're just like, well, am I going to be able to live up to that standard and do just as well next time, you know? So that's kind of how I feel... I don't know, so I am a little bit... I do feel that a little bit with playing this, but... Man, I, I have been doing this... Actually, you know what? Next month will be four years of uh, me Let's Playing. So I've always got... You know, I've gotten through it every time thus far. But, um... Typically what I'll do is, like, I'll, I'll just kind of, like, procrastinate, like, starting the recording. So I kind of piddled around for, like, 20 minutes before actually starting to record. And then I started playing, like... I started, like, thinking of things in my head of what I would say once the episode starts. Which I don't even know why I do that. Because, uh, like, 99% of the time I never think to say it in the episode. That part right there, I, re I did remember. I did remember that part. Oh, man. Why did the music stop? Can I not... <laughs> can I really not make this jump? Okay, I was just about to say, that feels makeable. Oh, now the music started again. Did it just loop or something? Okay, um... Oh, man, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a Chozo, uh, face. Okay. I thought it was, like, a rock monster or something. Okay, so we're gonna be getting the missiles, I hope. Uh, soon. Oh, jeez. I mean, just because the door closed behind me and it was red doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna be going back out that way. Okay, so we can't go down. Is that the first, uh... Is that the first sneaky thing the game is throwing at you? Yep. Okay, so you come here. You're locked in. You can't go down there, so you have to, uh... Obviously, can't get up there. So you have to, uh, search around. Okay. Uh, I think the difficulty on this game was set at Veteran. So I don't know if that... I'm pretty sure that probably means harder than the original Super Metroid. But there was, like, a little question thing on it. And I could have swore that at one point... I, like, I was, I was at that website before... And you could look at the descriptions of all the difficulties, but this time when I hovered the, the mouse over the question, another question mark just appeared. 
but it wouldn't actually it wouldn't actually give a description of the difficulties. So I'm assuming veteran means harder than than uh than Super Metroid, but I'm not sure how many steps above uh, it is or whatever. Maybe they went veteran and then uh, hardcore, uh, like they did with um, uh, Metroid Prime. Oh man, our ball is kind of ugly. Okay, um, so now I can get back out of here. All right, so that was just a small loop. Okay. All right, so now we can go back and, uh... Oh, man. Okay, I'm not going to remember to come back there when I get bombs. But, uh, yeah, holy nuts. Four years of Let's Playing. What the heck? All right. Starting you off real gentle with the enemies. The first enemy is actually a dude that you can farm health from. So that's, like, super gentle. All right. Well, you roll very slowly in the ball. Uh, missiles, okay. Stands to reason. Okay, so... Now back out and down to the left, right? Yeah, you roll really slowly with the ball. I still can't jump high enough to get up there, though. Okay. Okay, luckily that didn't do, like, 20 damage. Oh, they put that respawning guy there. That way, if you accidentally waste a missile, you can uh, get missiles. All right, cool. Okay, now the enemies are are, uh, are activated or whatever. And boy, that little... Um, what's that? What are the little uh, ground crawly dudes' names? Zoomers? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the names of all the enemies. I'm pretty sure I know that one. That's like, that's the equivalent of like knowing a Goomba. Like that one you probably know, but... Actually, you know what? If you know the enemies of Mario, you like know all of them. There's Zoomers and there's what? Skeevers? Right? Yeah, I, there's lots that I don't know. I'm trying to lay a bomb. I don't have the bombs yet, Durr. But, uh, yeah. Alright, oh jeez. Ah, uh, kinda. Let's just go. Oh man, that dude took 20. Dude, what the F, man? Did that, did that guy, did that first guy only do, uh, six? Cause it was, it was like the very, very first one. I wanted to make sure that you could easily get full health. That way you could easily get the missile back or whatever. Um, I already don't remember which way to go. Why couldn't I go to the right in that room up and left of me? I don't know. Let's just, uh, let's just go this way. Oh man, so many things I want to check. See, look, those two blocks are cracked, but the one, the third block above isn't. Oh wait, I think it's just different ways. Okay, some of them are just cracked and some of them aren't. Okay. Maybe there isn't some, uh, some kind of significance to it. Maybe I can just crouch and shoot this. Maybe you don't need a bomb. Nope. Okay, that's probably where, when we get the bombs, this is probably where we have to come back to actually use it to progress. Um, okay, so can't go that way. I do have to try to uh, shoot some things. I'm pretty sure that in um, in Z Factor, before you got the bombs, there were blocks that you could shoot with your beam. That uh, seemed like blocks that you would need the bombs for. Oh man, you also don't run very fast either, do you? I'm pretty sure normally you run faster than that, at least a little bit, right? How uh, about this? Can I shoot that one? No. Okay, and can't go back up there. Okay, luckily we're still early on, so our options are going to be uh, quite limited. So it said this, uh, it said the map was bigger than in Super Metroid, but like, how how much bigger are we talking? I should have just gone for that energy. Actually, I don't even need it. I just didn't want that guy to dive on me and take 20 freaking health. Oh, I can go this way. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about this place already. Oh man, look at that. I'm already forgetting uh, where doors are that I already passed. I'm not even high. I'm pretty sure there was at least a couple episodes in Z Factor that I was high. But I don't... I don't remember. And I don't think I ever referenced it. I ne like, I never said it at the time. But now, now, so much time has passed, now I don't remember. I want to say it was at least a couple episodes. 
man, why would I? I don't know. I don't know why I would have done that. Having like a like playing like a brand new game, where um, where like I don't know where anything is. So like having to try to remember, uh, stuff, with like short term memory loss from the from the weed or whatever. I'm I am pretty sure I did it anyway, actually. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, whenever I do smoke, I always just take like, I take like single hits. I'll, I'll take like a, like a, uh, like a half a hit or like a third of a hit. I'm like a one hitter quitter. I'm like a super lightweight. I don't like to be like super high. So that's probably why, um, if you watch those videos, you probably didn't notice that I was high. I probably wasn't acting too differently. Like I was probably forgetting things I was about to say, but like, like that's just part of Let's Playing. You always forget what you were gonna say. That just uh, comes with the territory. Oh, I can go this way. It wasn't revealed on the map, so I actually had to uh, explore it or whatever, like manually. Okay, so we're back uh, all the way outside. Um. Okay, we have door. And we have dead end. Uh, is this actually a dead end? Maybe this isn't actually a dead end. This looks suspicious down here, don't you think? Wait, is your jump? Is that, is your, do you have the same jump height as in Super Metroid? I'm pretty sure you jump higher in Super Metroid. Even without the uh, high jump boots, I could be wrong. Okay, let's actually uh, shoot some of these fools. If I get some easy, uh, easy kills or whatever, I can maybe get some health back. Hopefully they're not going to throw something at you that does like a full uh, energy tank worth of damage before I have one. Okay, can't go up. Oh, jeez. Why do I? I? I'm so used to wall jumping up, up like everything. I gotta like try to remember that I can't go for it yet. I'm guessing there's going to be a power-up that lets you do that. Maybe there's going to be like a power-up that lets you like grab ledges like in... Oh geez, what game was that? Metroid Fusion? What the heck was it called? There's like a thing that lets you grab ledges. It's like, oh, you mean hands? I got the hand power up, now I can use my, like, arms? Okay. Yeah, you would think that uh, being in like a super powered, like, space suit or whatever would give you the ability to grab a ledge with your hand and pull yourself up. I guess you do only have one hand since the other arm's like a, hand, a cannon hand. But you should still be able to do it with one hand, right? Oh, that just leads to there. Is that a shortcut? Or a speedrun strat or something? Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a dot. There's a, there's a power-up up there. I probably need to be able to, to destroy that block to, uh, to get it. Maybe the power-up is inside the block, actually, too. That's possible. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm guessing these guys are going to need a missile. Yeah, they're a different color. Oh, dude! Okay. I got missiles back from that other guy. Oh, I thought this was going to be a solid wall. I'm still falling for it. Oh, no. They're introducing spikes. Oh, dang it. I was just about to say, let's hope that, uh, that I don't get, like, too introduced to them. Jeez. Okay, two missiles uh, do the trick. We almost have to... Okay, I can't see where I'm landing. Hope... I mean, I'm assuming the game won't be a dick. Oh, wait, I saw a thing. Thought I... Thought I saw something on the bottom. I'm assuming the game the game won't be a dick and just force you to, like, land on it at some point. Oh, man, super missile. We're probably a, way off, a ways off from getting that. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh, I can't kill this guy. Okay, hello. Don't mind me. Oh, dude, F you. Oh my gosh, you can't stand on that! <laughs> oh, bitch. Okay, things are already not looking good. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to bail. Uh, okay. Wait, did that guy re... Like, I scrolled the screen a tiny bit and that guy respawned. Okay, well, I need to uh, farm some of these uh, Zoomer dudes. Okay, hopefully a dude won't respawn, like, right under my feet. Oh, God damn it! Oh, no. Not, uh, not liking this. 
Is he programmed to not fall off? I'm pretty sure they're programmed to not step off ledges ever. No! Oh, come on! I thought I was gonna be able to fall in time. This game has, like, increased falling speed, so I thought I'd be able to fall in time. God dang it. I shouldn't have risked it. My god. Where does it start me? No! I lost all that progress! God frick, dude. Alright, well, well uh, we're at an episode. Let's, uh, let's meet back. I'll do all that off camera, and, uh, we'll be back. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts, uh, on this? And, um, oh wait, dude, you know what? I forgot. Maybe this is where I need to come back to. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it uh, for this one. Please hit like if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate it. And, uh, I'll meet back, uh, um, trying to think. Should we meet back there? Actually, you know what? We were on a different path to go to, like, a different area. I needed to, uh, get missiles. So, I'll get missiles and, uh, we'll go through that door. And I have to hopefully remember to come back here. Hopefully, uh, this isn't the way we have to go. Maybe we'll get the bombs through that door and then we have to come back here. I don't know. So, anyway, we'll find out. So, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.